Creating Infographics Using Canva A good infographic can help to simplify complex information in a concise and visually appealing manner. They are an intersection of data, text, and message, combined into one artistic representation. They are an excellent method of storytelling. It can be daunting to set out to create an infographic from scratch, but there are resources out there to help make this task simple. In this video, we will dive into Canva as an infographic creation tool with step-by-step -step instructions. You will find it easier to get started if you have developed your visual plan, have some design tips in mind, and have collected your images and icons ahead of time. Canva is a freemium tool, which means it includes both free to use and pay to use content. Using Canva for free means you will be limited to using the platform's free graphics, templates, and features. To begin creating in Canva, you need to first log into your account. Go to www.canva.com and press login if you already have an account. If not, you will need to create one. To do this, click the sign up button. Now that you have access to the site, it's time to begin creating. You will first need to decide whether you want to start your project from scratch or if you would like to use a pre-populated template. Both options have their benefits and drawbacks. Although a blank canvas can seem daunting, it can also open up more possibilities. Starting from scratch allows you to choose the size and orientation of your infographic. It has the most control over your infographics design and you are able to build an infographic that will be unique and completely of your own design. Working off a template does not mean half your work is done. Instead, it should set you on a trajectory that you explore through modifying and customizing the base template. Working with the template can provide you with some visualization examples and inspiration. It will not allow you to resize your infographic and will also run you the risk of submitting an infographic that looks similar to your classmates. Dedicate some time to carefully choosing your template as it is hard to switch between templates once you have started building. If you are starting from scratch, tap the custom size button on the homepage. Choose the unit of measurement that you wish to work with and then define the size of your infographic. It may take a couple of tries before you find the perfect size. We recommend anywhere from 600 to 1200 pixels wide and 2000 to 5000 pixels long. If you are working with a template, on the home page, tap Create a Design, and then locate and tap on Infographic. Browse through the various templates and their respective categories. If you find a category that applies to your project, tap the See All button to see similar designs. Make sure the template you choose is labeled as free. Pay to use content can be identified by a crown icon beside the resource or feature of the site. For example, resizing your infographic template is a feature that is only included with Canva Pro. If you are not sure whether a picture, graphic, or template is free to use, bring it to your infographic and then tap on the download button. If you have used any paid content, you will see a cost to download your project. Some templates may not have a paid resource crown, but may still have paid for images embedded within the design. Once you have established whether you'll be creating from scratch or from a template, it is time to begin building and stylizing your infographic. Thinking about your infographic style early in the project can help ensure your design remains consistent. Remember your infographic is meant to communicate a message and the design of your infographic should not hinder it from doing so. Selecting or modifying a background is generally one of the first steps one takes when crafting their infographic. Look for the background button on the left hand side of the screen. If you do not see it there, check the More button that is usually found at the bottom of the menu. Here you can decide if you want a solid color, a pattern, or an image as a background. To insert any text, tap on the Text button on the left hand side. From here, you will be able to add a heading, subheading, and body text by tapping on the corresponding buttons. You can also choose from several pre-created word art templates to add a bit of emphasis and excitement to your infographic. To help your design stay consistent, Canva has a wide range of font styles. Navigate to the Styles tab by clicking More, then Styles. Here you will find some prepared styles to apply to your infographic. These include a heading and a subheading font, as well as a color palette. You can browse these and select the style that works best for you. Alternatively, you can click on Colors and Fonts to create your own color palette and font style. 
These methods will apply to all the text on your infographic, but if you want to edit a specific text entry, you can click on the text entry block and use the edit menu that appears above your infographic to edit the specific text size, color, alignment, font, and more. You can change your color palette or font style at any point of your build, so do not be afraid to experiment. The media possibilities on Canva are almost endless. You can use photos, videos, audio, graphics, charts, graphs, or tables. It can at times be difficult to find the perfect free picture or resource for your infographic. If you're not able to find something within Canva, an alternative is to find Creative Commons resources online. Canva accepts both PNG and JPEG image files. To upload an image or graphic to Canva, tap Uploads, then Upload Media. Now locate the media you wish to upload on your computer. Do not forget to cite any content that is not yours. To add elements directly from Canva, tap on the Elements button to add lines, shapes, graphics, photos, and more. Use the search feature to help narrow down your options. Once you find a resource that you would like to use, click on the resource to import it into your infographic. If you want to visualize any data, find the format you would like to use, such as a chart or graph, then you'll be able to input the appropriate numbers or information. Just like in any academic paper, citing your resources is very important. If you used any external sources or images, you will need to cite these. Leave a bit of space at the bottom of your infographic for your citations. Unless instructed differently, you can provide an abbreviated citation that credits the person who made the resource and where you found it. Play around with the layout and design of your infographic until you have something that you're happy with. Once you have completed your infographic and have carefully reviewed it, it is time to download it from Canva. Tap the download button. Here you will be given the choice of what format to export your infographic. For most academic assignments, we recommend exporting as a PDF print. Alternatively, you can also choose to export as a JPEG or PNG file. Once you have selected your file format, tap Download. Congratulations! You're done! Double check that your infographic looks right in its final form and that your citations and image credits are all there. Then share your completed infographic with the world.